hey guys i am lane nicole welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i will be attempting to do this super cute pigtail braids on myself i've been wanting to try this style for quite some time but i just didn't have enough courage to try so today i said why not so i'm so glad i did but to mention some of the products that i will be using today uh, really consist of just some gel some shining jam to slick the edges back of course and you gotta have a hard brush to brush this hair and make it look as sleek as possible so what i'm doing right now is taking out my day old braids i kind of wanted my hair to um be a little elongated when i did this style so i washed and conditioned and did all my wash day routine the night before and i put these braids in it to let it dry so we can get a little stretch to the hair and uh, what i'm going to do is just brush this out so that it has no curls or coils when i get ready to slick this hair back in a ponytail next i'm just going in with this water and i'm just spritzing my hair to uh, make it a little bit easier for when i brush through my hair so I'm just parting straight down the middle to get the cleanest, straightest part that I can possibly get. Um, I did not look at the back of my head. I still don't know what the back of my head looks like, but I try to get it as straight as possible um, so that the sides are pretty much even. And yeah, so I'm just doing that right now, trying to get it as straight as possible. And it's gonna take me a few times to do that, but eventually I got it down packed. So now that I have my part as straight as I could possibly get it, I'm just brushing out my hair now so there's no knots, no kinks or anything. So my hair can be really smooth once I brush this into a ponytail. So now I'm just going in with my gel. I'm using Eagle Styler. That is my go-to gel. I've been using it for the longest, so it's the best gel to me. But some people are a little iffy about the Eagle Styler. So they mix their hair a little bit dry, but... I mean I've been using it for a while so I just I just continue to use what works for me so it's your choice if you want to use the eco style or if you have another gel in mind that you like you just use your choice of gel and you want to just I won't say really pack it on there but pack it on there like so that your hair is nice and smooth if you got to add more water to your hair do that as well because that will help with the sleeking of the hair as well but you just brush until you get the most sleekest look that you like and that you're satisfied with and you just want to put that into a low ponytail just using this shining jam to further sleek down my edges but this part is actually optional um you can do whatever you like far as your edges go and you can use whatever type of edge control that you like um this step is optional as i said so you don't really have to do this part but i just want that really sleek look in the front and yeah so i'm going to be doing that sleeking it down a little bit more and then later i will come back and um actually do the little swoop de doop things to my edges and all that but for right now i just wanted that clean sleek look and that's what i got so moving on to the next so now that i have both of my ponytails nice and sleek i'm just going to be working on my edges now jumping into the hardest part of this video i am using some old braiding hair i don't even know the brand of the hair i just know i had some old hair in the bag that i have not used in a while and i decided to use this hair to try out this hairstyle this was trial and error y'all 
it took me so many times to get that perfect braid look it's still not as perfect as i wanted it to be but it's definitely better than i hoped for it to be so yeah like i said like i said this was trial and error it took so many times to do this i even took the easy way out to do this and um when i say the easy way i mean i did the whole ponytail method thing where you put the ponytail holder um on the hair and you uh pretty much um do it as if you're making another ponytail so i did that and i had to even out the hair with my hair in order to make it blend the way I want it to blend. I wanted to do a feed-in method, but I'm not really comfortable with doing a feed-in method right now because I'm still trying to practice on doing that. So I just didn't want to risk it looking really lumpy and not really that good. So I decided to do the little ponytail method with this and it came out okay. I'm, I, I am satisfied with it and I'm glad I did try it, but um, definitely was trial and error definitely took me a, a few times so um you may see me doing it over um a couple of times or i might just kind of bypass it but it definitely took a long time for me to do this section of my hair here i just took a piece of the braiding hair and i just wrapped it to cover up the scrunchie and i didn't really secure it with anything i just kind of wrapped it until i couldn't wrap it anymore and did like a kind of like a tucking method so that way it wouldn't go anywhere so once i got that wrapped up i went ahead and started to separate my hair with the braiding hair so here i'm just um making my hair a little bit more damp and a little bit more manageable and not so thick by uh, applying some of the water so it can blend a little bit better with the braiding hair I'm also adding some shiny jam to it as well to make it a little bit more sleek so that it blends better that way as well. So I have all of the parts as even as I can get them and you just want to braid down and I braid it pretty tight so that my hair stays blended with the braiding hair because my hair is curling up as you could see once I've put the shining jam in the water on there but I tried to braid it as tight as I could so that my hair wouldn't um, revert while it was in the braid. So once I got the braids to a good length, I went ahead and added one of my curl rods on there so it can be a little curly at the ends. And I dipped that in some hot water and that will be the finished look. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and you will see the end results in a little bit. So I'm pretty much finished with the style. I went ahead and did the rest of my hair off camera just to save us some time because it's pretty much the same thing that I did to the first side. And I'm just adding my rods as you see. I'm going to dip those in hot water as I said before. And then we're going to take these out to see what they look like. So here's me taking them off the rod. And they're pretty, they're pretty curly. Um, Could have came out a little bit better but I'm still satisfied with how it all came together so this is the finished look you guys i had to change my pants because i was looking a little busted and disgusted but your girl looking good nah <laughs> but i think i did a pretty good job for this being my first time ever trying this type of style i am not a braider so this is actually even very braid friendly to those who are just starting off on braiding or if you know how to plait you know this is the style for you so let me know what you think in the comments um if you want to see any more of these uh protective styles just let me know down below and what you want to see next and that's it for this video guys um i thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video so until next time bye guys thanks for watching Peace.